Chappaqua is a hamlet and census-designated place in the town of New Castle, in northern Westchester County, New York. It is on 0.45 square miles square kilometers of land on the east bank of the Hudson River, about 30 miles 50 kilometers north of New York City. The hamlet is served by the Chappaqua station of the Metro North Railroad's Harlem Line. In the New York State Legislature it is within the New York State Assembly's 93rd District and the New York Senate's 40th District. In Congress the village is in New York's 17th District. Chappaqua was founded by a group of Quakers in the 1730s and was the home of Horace Greeley, New York Tribune editor and U.S. congressman. Since the late 1990s, former President Bill Clinton and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton have lived there. History In the early 1730s a group of Quakers moved north from Purchase, New York, to settle in present-day Chappaqua. They built their homes on Quaker Street and held their meetings at the home of Abel Weeks. Their meeting house was built in 1753 and still holds weekly meetings each Sunday. The area around the meeting house, known as Old Chappaqua Historic District, was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. Horace Greeley's home, known as Rehoboth and built by Greeley himself, still stands in Chappaqua. It is also listed on the National Register of Historic Places along with Chappaqua Railroad Depot and Depot Plaza, Church of St. Mary the Virgin and Greeley Grove, and the Greeley House. Various spellings were used for the name they heard Native Americans use for their valley and hillside. It was an Algonquin word, Sha Pa Ka, and it meant, the rustling land, or the rattling land, or a place where nothing is heard but the rustling of the wind in the leaves. The Quakers spelled it Shapiqua, Sharpaqua, Shapiqua, Shapiqua, and, finally, Chappaqua. Their meeting was often referred to as the Shapiqua meeting as early as 1745. On March 18, 1791, the government of New York decided to split the overly large town of North Castle, jokingly called the Two Saddlebags, into two smaller towns, one of which was named New Castle. The border was drawn from the southwest corner of Bedford to the northeast edge of Mount Pleasant. New Castle's borders have remained the same since 1791, except for a small piece of land received from Summers in 1846 and the secession of Mount Kisco in 1978. Chappaqua had great streams such as the Saw Mill River and Roaring Brook, these bodies of water powered mills to crush corn and press oil from beans. The eastern half of Chappaqua was very suitable for farming. The majority of the Quaker settlers of Chappaqua were farmers. The popular farming industry also helped give way to Chappaqua's high milk production. Other popular industries from Chappaqua included shoes, hardware, vinegar, pickles, eyeglasses, and furniture. Many early homes and businesses were demolished in the 1904 Chappaqua tornado. In 1846 when the New York and Harlem Railroad extended through Chappaqua, business became centered on the new train station. These businesses included a hotel, livery stables, a public library, and various stores and small factories. The railroad enabled commuters to travel to New York City and back each day. Geography. <laughs> <laughs> According to the 2010 United States Census, the CDP has a total area of 0.45 square miles, 1.2 square kilometers, all of it land. As delineated for the 2000 census, the CDP of Chappaqua covered a much greater area, 9.44 square miles, 24.4 square kilometers, of which 9.38 square miles, 24.3 square kilometers was land and 0.06 square miles, 0.16 square kilometers or 0.64% was water. Parts of the Chappaqua zip code area are located in the towns of Mount Kisco, New Castle, Mount Pleasant, Yorktown, and Bedford, as well as the hamlet of Millwood. 
Parts of the Chappaqua Central School District include homes in other zip codes, such as 10570, the Pleasantville zip code. Topic: <laughs> Climate. Topic: <laughs> Demographics. <laughs> 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 As of the 2010 census, following a major revision to the delineation of its boundaries by the Census Bureau, the population was 1,436. At the 2000 census, with very different census-defined boundaries, Chappaqua had a population of 9,468. As of the census of 2000, there were 9,468 people, 3,118 households, and 2,687 families residing in the census-designated place. The population density was 389.7 per square kilometers, 1009.8 per square miles. There were 3181 housing units at an average density of 130.9 per square kilometers, 339.3 per square miles. The racial makeup of the CDP was 91.80% white, 0.94% African American, 0.03% Native American, 5.62% Asian, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.52% from other races, and 1.07% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.55% of the population. 14.3% were of Italian, 11.4% Russian, 10.6% Irish, 7.1% United States or American, 6.0% English and 5.7% German ancestry according to Census 2000. 92.4% spoke English, 3.6% Spanish and 1.0% Italian as their first language. There were 3,118 households out of which 52.1% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 79.1% were married couples living together, 5.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 13.8% were non-families. 11.6% of all households were made up of individuals and 4.8% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 3.03 and the average family size was 3.27. In the CDP, the population was spread out with 32.8% under the age of 18, 3.2% from 18 to 24, 25.9% from 25 to 44, 29.4% from 45 to 64, and 8.6% .6 who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 39 years. For every 100 females, there were 97.4 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 91.8 males. The median income for a household in the CDP was $163,201, and the median income for a family was $180,451. Males had a median income of $100,000 versus $71,875 for females. The per capita income for the CDP was $77,835. About 2.3% of families and 3.1% of the population were below the poverty line, including 3.8% of those under age 18 and 4.8% of those age 65 or over. Nationwide, Chappaqua ranks 42nd among the 100 highest income places in the United States with at least 1,000 households. In 2008, CNN Money listed Chappaqua fifth in their list of 25 top earning towns. Chappaqua 2007 estimated median household income was $198,000. Crime Although Chappaqua's crime rate is far below the national average, the area has had several high-profile murders. 
In 1996, a battle between a lottery winner and his former lover over custody of their five year old child resulted in a gun battle. The winner was acquitted of the murder of his former lover on the basis of self defense, and convicted of the shooting of the woman's father. In November 2006 a disbarred attorney drove the body of his severely injured wife to Northern Westchester Hospital, claiming that the couple had been ambushed and shot in nearby Millwood. She died soon after. For over a year, police expressed skepticism about the husband's account and did not rule him out as a suspect. In December 2007 the man was charged with his wife's murder after trying to collect on life insurance policies. Carlos Perez Olivo was convicted October 4, 2008 for the murder of his wife, Peggy Perez Olivo, who had been working as a teaching assistant at Douglas Graflin Elementary School in Chappaqua. Education Parent expectations in the school district are high, and the educational environment has been described as highly competitive and somewhat stressful. In addition, Horace Greeley High School has Chappaqua Summer Scholarship Program, which brings motivated and aspiring students from the Bronx to Chappaqua for four weeks over three summers to take classes while living with host families in Chappaqua. Around 1981, the magazine Money rated the school among the top 12 in the United States. Schools in Chappaqua were not always so high performing. Small, one room schoolhouses devoid of windows were prevalent in the 1800s. In the Chappaqua region, there were eight such schoolhouses. These small schools prevailed until around 1870, when the Quakers built a large school called the Chappaqua Mountain Institute on Quaker Street. In the year 1885 the school caught fire, and much refurbishing was done, with the addition of two new wings. It was sold in 1908 and now belongs to the Children's Aid Society. Around 1928, Robert E. Bell Middle School, known at the time as Horace Greeley School, was built. The present-day Horace Greeley High School was built in 1957. Robert E. Bell Middle School has the Bulldog as its mascot while Horace Greeley High School has the Quaker as its mascot. The three elementary schools in Chappaqua were completed over a 20-year period, Roaring Brook School in 1951, Douglas G. Graflin in 1962, and West Orchard in 1971. The district's modern commitment to education was exemplified in the 1950s when Horace Greeley High School principal, Donald Miles, began hiring teachers based primarily on their subject knowledge, eschewing the professional teacher. One of the most notable hires was Edwin Barlow, a math teacher whose controversial classroom methods and enigmatic life are chronicled in the 2009 memoir, Teacher of the Year, The Mystery and Legacy of Edwin Barlow. One of the current 2011 chemistry and app chemistry teachers, Richard Goodman, won the Chemistry Teacher of the Year award in 2009. In 2003, after the opening of the new middle school, Seven Bridges, and the moving of the fifth grade from Chappaqua's elementary schools to the middle schools, the district added a full-day kindergarten. Topic. Infrastructure Topic Emergency Services Emergency Medical Service and Fire Protection are provided by volunteer agencies. The Chappaqua Volunteer Ambulance Corps CVAC, provides basic life support services to most of Newcastle, including Chappaqua. The hamlet is protected by the New Castle Police Department, which also provides first response services for medical emergencies. The volunteer-based Chappaqua Fire Department, established in May, 1910, provides firefighting services to the hamlet of Chappaqua. The fire department currently maintains two firehouses in town. Fire Department Vehicle Gallery 
Topic Notable people William Ackman, investor and CEO and founder of Pershing Square Capital Management Adam Arkin, American television, film, and stage actor, son of Alan Arkin Alan Arkin, Academy Award-winning actor, best known for his roles in such films as The In-Laws, Catch-22, The Heart is a Lonely Hunter, Wait Until Dark, Argo, and Little Miss Sunshine. Bibi Besh, actress Dave Bickler, lead singer of Survivor Dan Biederman, urban redevelopment expert Mark Bombach, screenwriter Tina L. Brasman, former Chief Justice of the Bankruptcy Court of the Southern District of New York Dan Bukatinsky, actor, producer, director, 2013 Primetime Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series as James Novak in Scandal. Bill and Hillary Clinton, former Governor of Arkansas and U.S. President, and former First Lady, U.S. Senator, and United States Secretary of State. The Clintons purchased their home in Chappaqua for $1.7 million in 1999, near the end of Bill Clinton's presidency. Rene Cox, Jamaican-American artist, photographer, political activist and curator Andrew Cuomo, New York Governor and former Attorney General of New York Ace Frehley, lead guitarist of Kiss Eric Fromm, tennis player Jean Craighead George, author of children's novels My Side of the Mountain set in the Catskills and Julie of the Wolves Bob Giraldi, television and commercial director Earl G. Graves Jr., former NBA player Horace Greeley, reformer, politician, editor of the newspaper New York Tribune. He came to Chappaqua to live in a rural area, so in 1853 he bought 78 acres 320,000 square meters of land just east of the railroad. His land included upland pastures near present-day Aldridge Road, Greeley Hill, and the marshy fields now the site of the Bell Middle School fields and the shopping area along South Greeley Avenue. Nora Guthrie, daughter of Woody Guthrie and sister of Arlo Guthrie Roxanne Hart, American television, film and stage actress, appeared in Highlander, Nurse on Chicago Hope among other roles. Her father, Edward Hart, was principal of Horace Greeley High School, David Ho, prominent HIV, AIDS researcher Ian Hunter, singer and guitar player with the band Mott the Hoople. Mary Beth Hurt, actress Paul F. Iams, founder of the Iams pet food company Kenneth T. Jackson, American historian Stu Jackson, former NBA head coach and current senior vice president of the NBA Herman Kahn, Cold War military strategist Heather Page Kent, actress, podcaster and reality TV personality Jonathan Klein, former president of CNN Peter Cunhart, documentary filmmaker Sandra Lee, host of Semi-Homemade Cooking with Sandra Lee, a show on the Food Network Brian Lazer, musician Paul Levitz, president of DC Comics Ferdinand Lundbury, author, journalist, economist Andrew McCabe, former acting director of the FBI William F. May, former chairman and chief executive of the American Can Company, co-founder of the Film Society of Lincoln Center. Richard McKelvey, noted political scientist and professor at California Institute of Technology Jordan Mechner, creator of Prince of Persia, also filmmaker Daniel O'Keefe, Reader's Digest editor and inventor of the secular holiday Festivus. His son, Dan O'Keefe, popularized the holiday in 1997 by writing it into the plot of the television sitcom Seinfeld. Frank R. Pearson, screenwriter and film director Robert L. Knob Rauch, a financier and flying disc sports executive Andy Rubin, technology pioneer handheld devices J. O. Sanders, an American character actor Peter Saul, painter Paul Schrader, writer and director John and Elizabeth Sherrill, Christian writers Ben Stiller, actor Burt Sugar, boxing historian Martin J. Sullivan, former president and former chief executive officer of American International Group, Inc. Renee Seiler, journalist Christine Taylor, actress Jeff Van Gundy, former head coach of the Houston Rockets, former head coach of the New York Knicks Kevin Wade, screenwriter known best for Working Girl Dar Williams, singer, songwriter Vanessa Williams, Miss America 1984 beauty pageant, model, actress, singer Jenna Wolfe, sportscaster Notable structures 
The Chappaqua Friends Meeting House, circa 1753, is the oldest Quaker meeting house standing in Westchester County. It is a contributing property to the old Chappaqua Historic District, north of downtown along King Street New York State Route 120. America's first concrete barn. It was completed by Horace Greeley on his Chappaqua farm in 1856. It was also one of the first concrete buildings ever built in the U.S. Greeley's daughter and son-in-law later remodeled it into their house and named it Rehoboth. The world headquarters of Reader's Digest was in Chappaqua, although its mailing address is in neighboring Pleasantville, New York. The building has statues of Pegasus on it. It is no longer owned by Reader's Digest, and a local contractor has plans to construct a condominium community on site. One of Horace Greeley's homes. Part of the original structure still stands, and is part of the present-day New Castle Historical Society. It is on King Street, just east of the train station and South Greeley Avenue and is home to the Historical Society. The Schamburg House designed by Richard Meyer was built in Chappaqua in 1974. 